All right, we're asked to find the distance between two points in space. Point one is the point two, one, five, and point two is the point negative two, three, zero. And I wanna start by showing you why the formula that we already know for finding the distance between two points in a plane can be ex extended to finding the distance to between two points in space. So let's say we've got two points um, and I'm not going to use these points for now. Let me just use some general um, points here. Let's, let's have a point here um, that we'll call x1, y1, z1. That's our first point. And then some other point that's going to be up here, but also uh, extended out in space somewhere. We, we have some, uh, some z that's out uh, farther away from this, from this plane that this point is on. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to write it up here. This is the point uh, x2, y2, uh, z2. Now, uh, just thinking about this on one plane for right now, we're just going to ignore the z's for right now. We know how to find the distance between those two points. Uh, this distance here is going to be made up of uh, this horizontal distance and this vertical distance. And we know if, that this horizontal distance is the difference between the x values. So that's uh, x2 minus x1. That's this distance. And then this distance is going to be the, dis the difference in the y values, so y2 minus y1. And we know from the Pythagorean theorem that this distance here is going to be the square root of uh, this side squared, so x2 minus x1 squared, plus uh, this side squared, so y2 mi minus y1 squared. So that's going to give us this distance. And so now, uh, all we have to do to now find the, uh, the distance in space, because remember this point was not on this same plane as this point. It's out here somewhere. Um, notice that we now have another right triangle. We've just got this straight line, and then this line here, perpendicular to the whiteboard, coming straight out this way, and that's just a right triangle along this plane here. Um, and so the distance between those two points, which we're going we're gonna to write it like this, P1, P2, we're going to put it inside this symbol, it looks like an absolute value symbol, this means the distance between P1 and P2 is going to be equal to the square root of this distance squared, because this is one side of our right triangle, this distance squared, well, if we square this, it just gets rid of that radical. So this is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And now the other side of our right triangle is this, uh, the difference in the z's. So we're just adding on z2 minus z1 uh, squared. And now we're finding this distance from here straight out to this point out here um, with the Pythagorean, using the Pythagorean theorem along this plane here. Um, all right, and so now we've got this formula. We can just plug in our numbers and uh, x2 minus x1 is going to be the square root of negative 2 minus 2 squared plus uh, 3 minus 1 squared plus 0 minus 5 squared. So that's the square root of negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4, squared is 16. Um, 3 minus 1 is 2, squared is 4, and negative 5 squared is 25. 16 plus 4 plus 25 is equal to 45, so this is the square root of 45, which we can write as 3 square root of 5. 
And so that 3 square root of 5 is going to be the distance between those two points.